here in New Mexico. We want you to be here and stay home and work, all right? Uh, it's important for us to bring these kind of things to New Mexico. I, they talk about bringing money into New Mexico, but celebrities do a lot more than just come and film and buy a house. We raise money for funds that aren't being funded by the state or the federal government. This year alone, I've almost raised almost, almost a half a million dollars for students by myself. So think about what Brian Cranston has done. Think about what Aaron Powell has done. Think about how important it is to New Mexico for us to fund these things. So with that, I want you to know that we are having a raffle for Youth Development Incorporated. Please, there's some flyers over there. Pick one up. If you haven't been hanging out with the people from Breaking Bad, this is your opportunity to do so because we're pretty good people. All right? Now, it is my pleasure because without these guys, we're in trouble. All right? We need to change things. We got a bill that's going really good right now. It's going to stop a little bit of the leak. We still have a big thing to fix. But hey, we're moving forward, all right? It's positive change for us. So right now, I would like to introduce one of our champions, Senator Phil Griego. Good afternoon. <laughs> just, wanted, just wanted to... Uh, to come over here and just say thank you for being here today and just to let you know that uh, working with Representative Maestras, we have put together a piece of legislation that I think is going to work and it's going to let Hollywood know that New Mexico is open for business. We have today, we have today Representative Maestras that, uh, whose bill Okay, who, whose bill is identical to the bill that we introduced here in the Senate, uh, has already passed the House of Representatives 64 to nothing. Uh, and so, uh, today, we will be listing in the Finance Committee, our bill, and our Senate bill, will be heard in the Finance Committee. Now, I don't know how many of you are going to be able to be present there, because it's a half an hour after we get off the floor, which means it could be any time. But I want you to understand, and I want you to understand the process that we have here in the Senate. Okay, the bill will be heard in finance. And by the way, I want to thank the chairman, uh, John Arthur Smith, for allowing this bill to be heard today because they were still working on some language in the bill, not the meat of the bill, but some technical language of the bill. So what we're going to do, and this is what they do in the Senate with all money bills, is they will go and they will present the bill, we will present the bill, the committee will ask questions, and then they will table the bill until they put the entire budget together and then send it down to the floor. But our hearing, and so we're 95% there. This means that the bill will be heard today, and all they need to do is fix up some technical language, and it goes to the floor for the vote, and then it goes to the House. And then I think once we do this bill, the representative's bill is probably is, is identical to mine, so they, it probably won't require a hearing, it's just a floor vote, and then go up to the government. So we're about 85% of the way there in getting this thing done. We still have three weeks left in the session, which is a lifetime. And uh, I commit to you that the representative I, John Henry, uh, are going to be working on, on the piece of legislation to make sure that it gets to the governor. And we have worked out most of the, almost all of the technical difficulties with the governor's office. And we want to thank them for being uh, so amenable and working with us on this bill. It is a bill that is not perfect, but it's a bill that opens the door to the movie industry again. And uh, it will allow you in the industry to plan ahead. It will give the opportunity for our kids to learn the industry itself, to create the careers or to uh, start and finish the careers that begin uh, 
back in the day. And we're moving forward. And so we want to thank you for being so supportive. And uh, we want to thank John Henry for being such a fighter uh, for the industry. My relationship with, with Representative Maestas has been tremendous. And what he has done in the House, we're trying to do here in the Senate. We're almost there. And with the people from Breaking Bad and all of the support that we've got from the directors and the, the, and the owners of uh, the studios, it has become a unified experience. And we understand, and the legislature understands, the executive understands that we need to move forward with this. We need to open up the doors again. We need to let Hollywood know New Mexico is available. New Mexico is, is, is open for business. And we want you to come here and help us stabilize and develop a strong film industry. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Uh, it's good news. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of legislators, and uh, they all believe that we're on the right track. They're starting to believe that the money that the industry is bringing to the state is well needed. Uh, in case a lot of you don't know this, I am now an APS school board member. There's a couple of reasons why I did that. I believe that children deserve a choice in education. And the other reason is, when the current administration ran for office, they said, we're going to cut the industry because it's taking away money from education. So we're going to cap it because we need more money for education. Now, I'm an APS school board money, uh, a member. I want my money. <laughs> Show me the money. All right? We as people in our community, we need to make people accountable. Accountability is something that we got to do. I'm not one of those guys that sit, sits at home and complains. I get up every day, every morning, to help my daughters and your daughters and your sons and your children so we can succeed in New Mexico. The next gentleman I'm going to introduce to you is also a champion along those lines with me. He's a good friend of mine. We sit down and we talk a lot about what's going on in New Mexico. We talk a lot about what's going on in the industry. And he's definitely going to help us fight every year until we can fix this. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, Representative Mo Maestas. Thank you, honorable school board member, Stephen Michael Casada. Give it up. Senator, uh, Senator Diego had to run down to the floor. I do as well. We're going to be voting on some health care stuff. But the fact that you're here, the fact that you're in your house, in your capital, is going to be tremendous. Tremendous. Is New Mexico, does New Mexico benefit from the film industry? Is the film industry good for New Mexico? We know it. We know the truth because I'll put our human capital here in New Mexico against any human capital in the world to make the finest films and the finest TV shows. And so we have House Bill 379. House Bill 379. I took the best ideas from Senator Grego, conversations with the governor, my friends in the House and the industry, labor, and we have a great bill. And like the senator said, it passed the House 64 to nothing. Republicans, Democrats, everybody gets it. Everybody gets it. Because you can't, you can't cap an industry and expect that industry to be welcome. Unfortunately, the cap is going to remain, but any unused portion of the cap will roll over, and there will be a 5% bump for, bump for TV programs because we want to get a, another a half dozen TV programs like Breaking Bad to come to New Mexico. So, so keep working hard. Stay in New Mexico, please stay in New Mexico, keep working hard, hone your craft, build relationships, bring producers here, actors, writers, and then get your stuff produced, get your stuff on the big screen because you guys do just tremendous, tremendous work. New Mexico has a comparative advantage in culture. We're the most beautiful place in the world. 
you guys highlight that beauty in our culture to the rest of the world. And so as our industry grows and our economy grows, New Mexico will have its seat at the table. It'll be Hollywood in New Mexico. And then maybe someday New Mexico, comma, Hollywood will build the greatest and finest films in the world thanks to you. Thank you very, very much for being here. So just like that. Uh, so just like the old, uh, one of the great film shorts of all time, I, I'm only a bill. I'm only a bill is, uh, is in committee. And if it dies in committee, it dies. So we got to get it out of committee, in the Senate. And then when my bill from the House rolls around, it'll just float through the Senate, get on the governor's desk, put some friendly pressure on the governor, let her know how important this industry is to New Mexico. And when she signs it, be sure to thank her. And thank her very, very much. Thank you, guys. All right, one more time, time for Mr. Uh, Representative Paul Maestas. I call him Paul Maestas. Anthony Mo Maestas. Mo Justice. Uh, right now I'd like to bring back Mr. John Hendry. You guys watch on TV what uh, what happened up in Wisconsin? You know what happened in Wisconsin, right? Because what you're doing here today is exercising your democratic rights to speak to your legislators here, to lobby your legislators, to tell them what it is that you want, what it is you expect, and what it is you would like them to do. And they're not always going to do it, but you're taking that opportunity. And that's what democracy looks like. Okay? So if you watch in Wisconsin, a little call and response. They hate this, by the way. They hate this in this building. A little call and response. When I say, show me what democracy looks like, you say, this is what democracy looks like. Okay? Are we ready? We're here today to demand good jobs. We're here today to demand education for our kids. We're here today to say the film business is still standing, still here. We want to go to work. Show me what democracy looks like. Oh, come on, we can do better than that. I saw people standing in the back. None of you guys are particularly wilting wallflowers when you're looking for your meal penalties. So, none of you are wilting wallflowers when you're looking for your next job, Brent Morris. So, show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. I look around here and I see people from all over the state. I see the mayor of Deming. I see people from the north, the south, from Farmington, from Las Vegas, from Albuquerque, from Santa Fe. I see people from everywhere. You know what I see right here? I see New Mexico. I see New Mexico in its best. Show me what New Mexico looks like. This is what New Mexico looks like. Show me what New Mexico looks like. This is what New Mexico looks like. I see my brothers and sisters here who have stood with me in the rain and the snow, who have walked picket lines, who have done everything they can to make sure that we have jobs, jobs with dignity, jobs with health benefits, jobs with retirement, jobs with security, union jobs. I see my union here. Show me what a union looks like. This is what a union looks like. Show me what New Mexico looks like. This is what New Mexico looks like. Okay, we're not going to hear this in the fourth floor. We stand for something. We stand for decent jobs. We stand for new millennium jobs. We stand for clean jobs. Will you stand for me? Will you stand for me, New Mexico? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up and show me what democracy looks like. Show me what New Mexico looks like. This is what a union looks like. Thank you. God bless you. Stay here today. Let's get this bill passed. Thank you. By the way, we're going to show a little movie here that we shot on Speaker Lujan, our champion. So if you're hanging around here before you go to the lobby, we're going to show a movie that we shot, Ben and Carmen, a love story on Speaker Lujan, who was our champion for 10 years. So uh, take a look.